It's no secret I love chrome in my nails. With a little liquid and a little powder, I can make liquid magic creating these beauties. I'm going to turn my acrylic into liquid gold. It's not very hard either. Let me show you how I created them. Let's get started. So I have some almond-shaped nails, which are my favorite. They're a little on the shorter side, but they're adorable. I'm gonna grab my tube. I'll rest them on here so you can see. Now, I've already laid down two base colors of gel as my foundation. It's a little bit of gold fleck. And if you want to know, I will let you know right away to, if you want to get that same look. And that's why I picked it, because of the gold fleck. It's Madame Glam. The first coat is called Lotus. And then on the top of that particular base color, I did this one, which is called Casual Friday. And that has the glitter little gold flecks in there, which would be a perfect background for this liquid gold. So I was just playing around as I do sometimes. And with the combination of a little bit of monomer, just a little bit, we're just doing one nails. We don't need much. Maybe two, depending if I get carried away. I've used clear powder. You could use another color, but it might look a little bit different, but I used clear to give that kind of quartz kind of look with the with the gold mix in it and I'm using Kira Sky's rub on and I liked this particular shade of gold there's all sorts of different colors of gold antique gold vintage gold new gold bright gold <laughs> it's whatever you like okay this goes really really quick you don't have to buff it or nothing acrylic will stick to the gel quite well just want to prepare your brush I've got my paper towel to absorb all of the monomer. So you'll see when I start making the bead, it turns into liquid gold. But right before that, to make it look more jewel-like, because we wear rings like gold nuggets, I'm going to pick, brought some of my gems down. I'm going to pick a gem and I want to pick it ahead of time because when you lay it down, as you know, acrylic starts curing right away. You want to be able to place the gem inside there. So I think I want it to look a little bit antique little vintage little, you know, a little old. So this gem inside, I could pick something like this, but this is a bit modern. It's cute though. We'll put that aside. And... Hmm. Wow, you got a lot of choices. This is cute. You see that one? Yeah, it's a nice antique look. I said it could be a ring. But it's a, it's a bit big. Don't want to make it that big. I didn't make these nails super long. Let me see if we can find the perfect gem. These are all a bit too big. Ooh, look at this little guy. This might work. I don't like the color so much, the blue in there, but it does make it look old, doesn't it? So I think I might go with that. So let's put that aside too. And then this one. This white one is kind of pretty too. Yeah, I think that's it. I mean, I could spend forever trying to figure this out, but let's get to the design, right? Okay. I think that would be really cute. It's very vintage looking. And gold nugget sort of does lend to that kind of old look. Let's just push these guys over here. Bring back me tube. Okay, so it's kind of when you put it down, you got to work with it because that's all you really have. Let me prepare my wax tip. I'm using the beamy wax tip so I can pick it up. I'm going to flip it over. Okay, so I'm ready to go. It's all going to happen pretty quick. Maybe I'll make it ribbon-like so it's coming in and the gem in the center. We'll see. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I just want a tiny little bead that I'm going to make. I don't want to overwhelm that nail. It's not a very big nail. And I'm going to gather my powder, clear powder, and then I'm going to dip it in and quite submerge it, like the whole thing. And then I'm going to lay it on the nail. Now it looks kind of meh, right? But once it starts to absorb into it together, you'll see that it starts to take kind of a liquid gold form. So I'm going to lay it out, get rid of this excess. I think that looks really neat. It does look It's quite really, shiny. It is. I wanna, I'm going to punch it a little with my brush to give it kind of a liquid, 
or nuggety, I'm sorry, a nugget look. Because nuggets, you know, they're bumpy, they're rough. It's gold before it's finished. So I want it to look old. And then I'm gonna get my wax tip and I'm gonna grab that gem and I'm gonna stick it right there. I just wanted to hope it releases. Yeah, it did. Beauty. Oh, nice. Isn't that cute? Mm -hmm. Now this smeared here a little, but I think I'm gonna leave it. I oh, think, looks neat. I think I like it. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. See how quick that went down? That's fast and you just leave it. Oh, it's adorable. I actually really like it. You know, I tend to overdo and go to the other. I'm just gonna leave it like this. I think it's very classy, very pretty. And if I do more to it, I might overdo it. This is new, I've never tried anything like this before. I'm showing it to you because I thought maybe you might play with it and come up with some great designs too and I'd love to see them. Okay, well, I think I'm happy with that. So now I have to decide if I want to top coat it or not. But to secure that in there, being the the rub-on, the uh, chrome, I might have to just to seal it in there. But I really like the way it's looking now. So we will go to reveals. I know it's a quick one, but I'm going to take a picture of it with the top coat on and with the top coat not on. So you will know which one it is and then you can decide for yourself what you might want to do with it. Okay, let's check out the very classic reveals. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't have to be super detailed or take a really long time to do to look totally adorable or very elegant. I love it actually. You want to check out some more gold foil. These are really easy. This is polished secure gold foil. Check it out. Mm -hmm. 